Uh, pint and a whiskey, please, Dad. Three pints when you're ready, Diane. Come on. Cheer up, eh? Oh, I'm all right. Who's got good reason? Being accused of somebody I've done. You can't just go. It's not going to make it better for anyone. Please, listen to me. I've made my mind up now. You've got to let me go. It's not like they're going to flame me, is it? Listen to me. I'll ring you when I've got somewhere sorted. Let me go. I don't want to believe it any more than you do, but for goodness sake, facts are facts. Sam was there when it happened, and we know he's lying. <laughs> Hell of a world, isn't it? We get punished for giving his girlfriend a job. Meanwhile, he robs us, sees you hurt, and roams around scot-free. Do you know you want to watch your mouth for you sometimes, Valerie? I'm entitled to my opinion. And I'm entitled to mine. Do you mind if I hear it? Sammy doesn't need you sticking your nose in. Well, it's tough, innit, cos he's gonna get it anyway. Me and you fell out, and we shouldn't have done. I'm sorry, Sam. For them of you that think that it was Sam who robbed the B&B, you're wrong, cos it were me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so leave him alone now, man, you know what I mean? Very heroic. Do you mind if I call the police? Not at all. Do you mind if I do one? Come on, it. Leave it, leave it, leave it! <laughs> Let me speak to him. Just back off. Please, please. Let the authorities do their job. Uh, I'd like to report a burglary, please. I don't want you to go. Not like this. Well, I can't wait for the cop is turned up, can I? <laughs> I can sort this, Eli. Listen, listen, all, all that stuff I said before, all that, I didn't mean any of it. You did? I didn't Marlon, mean it. Marlon, Marlon, you did, mate. I know you love me. I don't blame you for things you said, mate. All of this is it. Well, it seems to be who I am, doesn't it? You just make bad choices. Either way, if I stick about, I'm gonna make it worse. I can't believe you're going. <laughs> Do you remember when we were kids? And I got sent to Young Offenders? Climb in my head, you said. And I'll climb in yours. Yeah. That's where I'll be. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Listen, just, um, give this to, uh, Pollard for me and... Tell him I'm sorry. Come here. You take care. You take care of yourself. I always do, don't I? Hey. Another one. Oh, no thanks, love. I think I'll get off after this. Why? What's up? I think I've made a decision. Oh? Well, I can't work with them two anymore. This latest incident has just put the tin lid on it. It's like trying to manage a pair of overgrown teenagers. I hardly ever see TJ. So what are you saying? I'm going to sell up as soon as I can. Believe it. Poaching. Risking your job. And then sending the money to that girl. I had to make up for what I did to her. Well, I know you were fond of her, but you've got different priorities. You know, you're gonna have to move on. No, mate, it's hard though. He must hate me. Can you blame him? I'm very sorry, Sam. I should never have jumped to conclusions. No, you shouldn't have. It's all right. Oh! <laughs> and they say miracles don't happen. <laughs> Nothing to charge him with now, have you? Well, some good news at last. Uh, I don't think so. I owe you £400. <laughs> at least you got the box back. 